On my previous videos, many of you guys commented having problems installing Black Arch Linux or having some other issues regarding installation. In this video, I will be showing you the easiest way to install Black Arch Linux without any problems. Here is something important you need to know before you proceed. We will be installing Black Arch on top of Arch Linux. Installing Black Arch on top of your Arch Linux system is considered unofficial. That means it's not supported by the main Arch Linux team. Black Arch is a separate project made for ethical hacking and security testing. And while it gives you access to a ton of powerful tools, adding its repository can mess with your system, especially if you're new to Arch. It's best to try this in a virtual machine or test setup first, not on your main system. There are so many Arch-based Linux distros out there. Please feel free to have a look and download the ISO of your choice. Or you can just download the catchy OS, which is great in my opinion. Once you download the ISO, open up your VirtualBox or VMware workstation and follow the steps. Select the ISO image here that you downloaded. By default, it will be selected to Windows, but you need to change it to Linux and then choose the other Linux kernel as shown in the video. Name it whatever you want and select the desired location you want to install the ISO to. Please make sure to provide enough space because if you plan to install many tools on the ISO, then it will take up a lot of space. I'd suggest you go for 50 to 80 gigs of space. You can later extend it as well if you need it. I don't need to provide a lot of space because I will be deleting it after the video anyways. Let's customize the hardware for the machine. Provide at least 2 gigs of RAM if you are low on memory. Also select the number of processors you want to assign. These settings should be enough for now. However, there are many things that'll help in avoiding security problems, which will be a topic for another time. Now just simply click that green power on machine button and you are almost halfway done. As usual, just log into the live ISO, and from there we will continue the installation. You can try out the ISO first in the live environment if you want to, but in my case, I will just proceed with the installation. Don't worry, this is not a complex black arch installation guide. This process is probably simpler than installing Windows to me. Just read the on-screen instructions and you are good to go. Here, select the time zone accordingly. If you prefer some other keyboard layout, please do so, but I will be keeping it default. Since we are installing a virtual machine and we already have allocated some space for the ISO to be installed to, we will select the first option to erase the disk and install the ISO. Don't worry, it will not harm your personal data on the hard drive if you are following me. There are so many desktop environments that you can choose from. If you already know what you are doing, feel free to select the desktop of your choice. And if not, you can go with Plasma Desktop. Once again, you can add or remove packages if you don't need them, but I will keep it default, it's completely fine. Set up a username and password for yourself. Make sure to set the root password as well. Finally, just hit the install button and wait for it. Please be patient because it will take a lot of time to download and install it on your system. Once that is done, restart the machine. I will not be installing it because I already have one. All right, assuming that you have successfully installed Arch in the virtual environment. Now let's install Black Arch on top of Arch. Open up the terminal and follow me. First, update the system with the following command. If asked, press Y and proceed to the installation. I won't be updating it, but you should do it. After that's done, open up your browser and visit the Black Arch page. Then click on Downloads. Click on the Installing on top of Arch on the left. And here are all the steps you need to transform your existing Arch into Black Arch. Please feel free to read it. You need to switch to root user first. Remember I told you to create a root user password? When you type sudo su in the terminal, provide the root password there, and you will be logged in as root user. Now you can follow me. Now just copy and paste the commands in order or just follow me. We will first download the script with the first command. The second command is optional, but it's good practice to always verify a file. Next, provide it with executable permission with chmod, and then after that, run the script. After a few minutes or seconds, you will see a message Black Arch Linux is ready. And congratulations, you can now use Black Arch. Once again, once that's done, you can try to update the system again. Now this command will install all the Black Arch tools for you, but I'd suggest you to not do that because it'll take up extra space and you won't use all the tools anyway. Instead, you can install tools or categories individually, which is great. To see the Black Arch categories, you can run the following command. Now let's try to install some tools as a proof. Let's install GoBuster, which is a directory brute force tool, and as you can see, it's been installed successfully. Let's install Nmap as well. And this concludes our today's tutorial. You can follow for more tutorials or leave suggestions in the comments. Thank you.